Hi guys, I just wanted to show you a few more items some people were asking about. Um, I just wanted to show you this little slide bolt I have here. That's actually just a brass cap and I think I told everyone that's a one inch NPT fitting and it's actually a half inch NPT fitting. And I just screwed that bolt in and then I just stuffed, stuffed it with this ceramic fiber. So I just pulled it off and stuffed it in there and that makes it much more airtight and actually kind of keeps my bolt cool, cooler so I'm not burning my fingers too. So just wanted to show you guys that. Um, also, here's my lighting port, which if you can see in there, You want to make this pipe long enough so that it comes right up to one of the air jets. And there you can kind of see in there. And I also wanted to show you, there's some of my wood. Isn't that amazing that all those oils that form on my lid? But I really wanted to show you what I used in this area here to seal it better. I used a half inch wood stove rope. And I just sealed in there with some high temperature gasket sealer. And I also used a one inch adhesive on one side I think you could actually put it in there also like that if you wanted to. It might even work better than that half inch rope. But I actually put both on. I put the half inch on and then I put my this one inch right here to help seal it. But that actually makes the lid really tight. So I don't know if I would do that next time. But I might just use something like this and put that in there. And I also want to tell everybody, I reinforced this. This is actually an eighth inch plate that I bolted on to my lid because when it starts making the gas, it actually vibrates really loud. Uh, it's kind of like, blah, kind of like that. And it's, it's kind of scary. You think something's going to blow up, but <laughs> I don't think it will. It's just vibrating really bad. So that took the vibration out of that um i also wanted to show you underneath here my ash cap here a big four inch ash cap if i can see in there that's all the ash i've had for probably three loads of wood it's almost nothing. That's amazing to me. So, let me see here. Put that back on. And then I wanted to, lots of people were asking about the bowl shaped uh, reactor. So I wanted to give you one more blueprint on that. So here you go, here's your blueprint for the bowl shape. This is the reactor from the side view. And I just wanted to show you the critical dimensions, really. This dimension, that's a critical dimension. I mean, within a 16th inch, I don't think it's that big of a deal, but the height from these jets, to this plate and then of course your hole diameter your choke hole diameter is critical so those three dimensions and then your reduction tube of five inches fifty thousandths and the inside dimension of 5.35 which i think i think it can be off a 16th to an eighth inch and i don't think you're going to notice a difference and here's your bowl shape. 
that's about 10 inches and three quarters diameter on the top and 8.65 inches on the bottom diameter. And a lot of people are asking about the shape and where I got that. So I got that from pipingnow.com. That is just a water reducer. It's a 10 by eight concentric water reducer. Um, and like I was saying before, you don't really need to get that. Um, I think that bowl was about 80 bucks plus like $40 shipping. It was quite a bit. And now I think it's 113 plus shipping. Um, but that was a nice thick bowl. That was like three, three sixteenths thick. So it's a nice heavy duty bowl. Um, but you could just get a regular pipe, guys. You could get a 10, 11, 12 inch pipe. Just make sure these these dimensions are, are met when you're making it. And I think you'll, you won't have any problems. And also, I was uh, asked about these barrels. These are just 30-gallon barrels. I think you could actually go 50-gallon on this if you wanted to, and then it would give you more room for some, some wood. But other than that, you could even add to the top of this, too. So, so yeah, you could go 30-gallon or 55-gallon. Or really doesn't matter.